Guten Tag zusammen, meine Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen zum Vortrag German Food and Drinks, a World of Diverse Delicacies. Ich bin Wallace. Erstmal meine kurze Selbstvorstellung. Ich heiße Wallace, ich habe in Münster meinen Master gemacht und da habe ich studiert. Und jetzt bin ich der deutsch Natur von Hong Kong News Paris und ich bin auch der Adjunct Lecturer. Seit fast zehn Jahren arbeite ich als Deutschlehrer an verschiedenen Universitäten und Schulen in Hongkong. Und im Jahr 2016 habe ich ein Stipendium bekommen zur Fortbildung als Deutschlehrer. Okay, so now you know a bit about me. Yeah. Ich heiße Wallace. Yeah. And of course, uh, you can also tell me a bit about yourselves. Yeah. In German, you can simply introduce yourselves with the verb heißen. Yeah, then you may hear, hallo, wie heißen Sie? Okay, heißen. Yeah, the pronunciation is like this, yeah. Heißen, yeah. So in English, you can translate it to be called, yeah. And um, if you like, you can just type your name there using German. Hallo, ich heiße David oder Ich bin David. Yeah. So you can say, I'm called David or I am David. Yeah. Heiße. Yeah. If uh, probably you don't have this alphabet yeah, on your computer, this is called Estet. Yeah. The simplest way is just to copy and paste from the internet. Yeah. Ich heiße. Oder, yeah, Sie können auch bin benutzen. Yeah. Ich bin David. Yeah. So feel free to type your name there. Und nachdem wir uns kennengelernt haben, kommen wir jetzt auf das Quiz, okay? Und Sie können sich mal testen, wie gut Sie deutsche Esskultur kennen. So today uh, we will learn more about the German eating and drinking culture. So I've prepared a quiz for you, okay? And see how many questions you can answer correctly. Und es gibt drei Teile. There are all together three parts, ne? So erstens, ja, was sagt man? Beim Essen, yeah, you can learn some useful phrases that man, uh, that people use, yeah, at the time of eating, before meals, and so on. Es gibt auch interessante Fakten. So there are some interesting facts about the German food culture, which will probably surprise you. Und drittens, es gibt auch merkwürdige Speisen. So there are some noticeable, some special dishes you may not have heard of. Okay. Und zum Schluss haben wir auch uh, die Fragen und Antworten. We will also have the part for Q&A. Okay, question and answer. Sind Sie bereit? Are you ready? Okay. Und jetzt los. Ja. Das ist doch das Quiz. Ja. Deutsche Esskultur. Teil 1. Ja, was sagt man beim Essen? Und hier ist Frage 1. Ja, the first question. Wann sagt man Mahlzeit? Ja, Mahlzeit. Okay. Und äh, wir haben doch vier Optionen. Dann schauen wir doch mal hier A am Morgen. Morgen. Ja. Oder B am Mittag. Am Mittag. C am Nachmittag. Oder D am Abend. Okay. Dann wann sagt man das? Ja, das ist Mahlzeit. Ja, also those four times again, morgen, Mittag, Nachmittag oder Abend. Okay, so uh, feel free to type your answers in the comment part, yeah, and uh, let us know. Mm -hmm. Sehr gut, okay. So uh, now we can see some answers there. Uh -huh. Quite some people guess uh, B, no? Und die Lösung ist? Am Mittag. Ja, genau, sehr gut. Okay. So, if you guess B, ja, da haben Sie recht. Das ist richtig. Ja. So, Mahlzeit, ja, is the greeting that people use uh, during noontime, lunchtime. And of course, there are many other greetings similar to English. Ja. Sie können doch sagen, guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Ja. Guten Tag. Ja, so Tag means like Day, yeah, that's why we've got Mittag, yeah, the middle of the day, which is noon, yeah. Nachmittag, so nach is after, so that is afternoon, 
Yeah. But if you greet others, you don't say guten Mittag. Instead, you say guten Tag. Okay. Usually from like um, 11 until about 5 something or 6 p.m., then you can say guten Tag. Yeah. And then guten Abend und gute Nacht. Yeah. So it says you use the time with gut. Yeah. We could actually trace back to um, the origin, the history of Germany. So the original phrase was actually gesegnete Mahlzeit oder ein gesegnetes Mal. Yeah. So gesegnet means blessed. Yeah. So that means the original phrase is uh, the blessed meal time or the um, here the blessed meal. Yeah. But then as time went by, people just shorten it and just say Mahlzeit, yeah, meal time. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you have to say it in front of a meal or you're gonna start the meal with someone, but around lunchtime you can just greet others saying Mahlzeit. Yeah. Und bei der Arbeit ist es ganz üblich. Yeah, it's very common at work, yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the lunchtime, then you greet your colleagues, yeah, then a colleague, then a friend, okay. But there's one point that you have to note. So when you say Mahlzeit, yeah, make sure that you use it with someone that you know well, yeah. So colleagues, friends, yeah. If you're having a business conversation with your customers, it may not be very appropriate, okay. So Mahlzeit, yeah. Und die nächste Frage. Das Abendessen nennt man in Deutschland auch. Okay. Wie ist der andere Name vom Abendessen? Ja, wie heißt es dann? Ja. A. Abendbrot. Das ist Brot. Okay. Hm. B. Abendwurst. Okay. Es gibt hier Weste. Ja, Wurst. C. Abendpizza oder die Abendnudel. Okay, das heißt, wir haben doch Brot, Wurst, Pizza oder Nudel. Yeah. What's the other name of Abendessen of dinner in German? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you can just type it. Yeah, tell us your answer. Okay, sehr gut. Yeah, so I can see uh, quite some people said. Ah, ja, Abendbrot, ja, Abendwurst gibt es auch. Okay, interessant, ja. Und die Lösung ist, ja, A ist richtig, ja. Sie sind doch sehr intelligent, ja. Many of you are very smart, ja. Probably you know the German culture a bit already. So, uh, the other name of dinner, Abendessen, ist Abendbrot, ja. So, Abend, guten Abend. Yeah, just now we learned this, right? Evening bread. Yeah. Aber warum heißt es denn Abendbrot? Yeah. Warum Brot? Warum nicht Wurst oder Pizza? Again, we could take a look at uh, the German history. So, during the time of industrialization, yeah, Industrialisierung. So, uh, you know, there were quite some industry workers and of course they need a lot of physical power for the work and that's why you know uh, they need a big lunch yeah a big warm lunch yeah uh, so that they could continue with the work in the afternoon yeah am nachmittag yeah but then in the evening am abend yeah was nicht mehr notwendig aufwendig zu kochen in the evening of course they don't have to work they don't have to cook so much, yeah. And probably after the whole day of work, then they don't have energy to cook anymore, yeah, like many Hong Kong people. So just a piece of bread, yeah, brot, butter, etwas aufschnitt, so something that you can put on the bread, like ham and so on, then that is a dinner, yeah. And then eventually, yeah, it develops as a dining habit of many German people, yeah. Uh, warme Mahlzeit, so a big warm lunch, and then dinner, einfach mal Abendbrot, yeah, just bread. Yeah. But of course, you know, like uh, Hong Kong people nowadays, many people have to work long hours, and some of them may also need energy, 
Yeah. So this uh, traditional eating habits has changed uh, to a certain extent. Yeah. So it's not surprising to find someone that you know who uh, just have a warm dinner as well. Yeah. Okay. Aber jedenfalls, ja, Abendbrot, ja, also means dinner. Ja. Okay, hier sehen wir doch eine Frau. Hm, okay. Was sagt sie nicht? Okay, was sagt sie nicht? Der Mann fragt, schmeckt? Und hier gibt es auch vier Optionen. A, lecker. B, köstlich. C, es schmeckt gut. Oder D, katastrophal. Okay, nochmal die vier Wörter. Lecker. Köstlich. Es schmeckt gut. Katastrophal. Ja, was sagst du nicht? Mhm. Okay, sehr gut. Ja, viele Leute sagen D, ne? Aha, okay. Ein paar Leute sagen A. Ah, dann schauen wir doch mal. Ja, genau, die ist richtig, ja, die ist richtig, katastrophal, ja, then it looks very similar to English, ja, then probably you understand the meaning, ja, catastrophe, extrem schlecht, ja, very, very bad, so uh, probably her face tells you that it's not what she's thinking, ja. In case, yeah, you're invited for dinner, for a meal in a German family, then this is definitely not the word you're going to use, right? You're not going to say the um, family dinner is like catastrophal, okay? But then what are the words you can use? Yeah? These three can be used yeah, at that time. Lecker. Mm. Köstlich. Okay, köstlich, ein bisschen eleganter. So uh, it's a bit more elegant, yeah, but it also means delicious. Yeah? Oder schmeckt gut. Yeah? So probably the host will ask you schmeckt. Yeah, so this word means taste, yeah, schmecken. So if the host asks you, does it taste, that means does it taste good? Yeah, then you can say lecker or schmeckt gut. Okay. Sehr gut. Yeah. Okay, na gut. Und jetzt kommen wir auf Frage 4. Okay. Frage 4, was sagt sie? Ja. A, ich bin schon satt. Satt. Oder B, ich bin schon voll. Voll. C, ich bin schon besetzt. Oder D, ich bin schon dick. Okay, so I think the main difference is the last word, right? Satt, voll, besetzt. Oder dick. Okay. Was sagen Sie dann? So, feel free to type your answer in the comment part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, some people say A. Ah. Huh? Some people say B. Okay, interessant. Yeah. Noch drei Sekunden. Und jetzt schauen wir mal die Lösung. Ja, A ist Richtig, okay. Ich, okay. Instead of using satt, they may use the word in B, voll. Yeah. If you say, ich bin schon voll, okay. Und da sehen sie vielleicht so aus, okay. Oh, ich habe zu viel Alkohol getrunken, ich bin schon voll. Yeah. Voll here doesn't mean full, it doesn't mean that you can't eat anymore. Probably you have drunk too much, yeah. Du bist schon betrunken, okay. Well, probably you, when you're drunk, then you can't say anything more. Yeah, but this is what it means in German. Yeah, voll. Yeah. Or you can use voll to describe um, the bus. Yeah, the bus is voll. Yeah, the MTR is voll. Okay, so like the bus, the MTR, it's crowded, full of people, voll. Yeah. Or let's see, ich bin schon besetzt. Yeah. If you say this, then the German people would probably associate with the Toilette, okay? The Toilette is besetzt. Ja. Dann kann man nicht mehr reingehen, dann kann man die Toilette nicht benutzen, okay? So it's occupied, ja. So uh, please do not presenting yourself as a Toilette, okay? So besetzt, ja. 
It's different from that. D, yeah, ich bin schon dick. Yeah. And now uh, don't think of something inappropriate. Okay, this is a German word, yeah, not an English word. Yeah. Even small children can say this. Yeah. No shock. Yeah. And was ist dick? Yeah. Zum Beispiel hier, der Mann ist dick. Okay. Was ist das denn? Yeah. So dick in German means fat. Yeah. Ich bin dick. Yeah. So fat. Yeah. Again, uh, if you feel full, then remember to use the word that. You can also add the word schon, which means already. So I'm already full. Yeah. Ich bin schon satt. Yeah. Do not use the other three. No. Okay. And here we can practice once more. Then probably your host may say this to you. Yeah. Like this in this situation. Nehmen Sie doch noch etwas fish. Oder informellerweise, nimm doch noch etwas fish. Yeah. Just have some more fish. Yeah. Take some more fish. Yeah. Formal or informal. And then how can you reply? Yeah. Die Reaktion, positiv, yeah, dann können Sie doch sagen, danke, gern. Okay? Danke, gern. Yeah. It's positive. No? So you would like to have more? Yeah. Gern. Oder negativ. Nein, danke, ich habe genug. Okay? Genug. So enough. No? Danke, ich bin schon satt. Oh, ich bin schon satt. Ja. Danke, ich möchte nicht mehr. Ich möchte nicht mehr. Ja, das ist möchte. Okay, so I would like no more. Ja. No matter you want to take more food or you can't eat anymore, remember to say danke. Okay, so always say thanks. Ja, danke. Ja. And then you can say genug, ich habe genug, oder ich bin satt. Ja. And of course, you can also compliment your house food, right? Das ist lecker. Ja. Schmeckt gut. Ja. Okay. Und hier uh, die letzte Frage in Teil 1. Ja. Was ist das? Ja, das ist ein Kartoffelsalat. Okay. Kartoffelsalat. Ja. Kartoffel is a potato. Ja. You can tell from picture. Ja. Und was ist das denn? Wir haben A, eine Vorspeise. B, eine Hauptspeise. C, eine Nachspeise. Oder D, ein Dessert. Okay? So the four words may not be familiar to you. Then you will have to make a wild guess. No. Vorspeise, Hauptspeise, Nachspeise oder Dessert. Okay, was sagen Sie denn? Mhm. Drei Sekunden, you can think about it. Drei, zwei, eins. Aha. Ja, Vorspeise ist richtig. Ja, sehr gut. As you can see, right, these three options, A, B, C, all of them have got the roots, the same word, Speise. Was ist Speise? Ja, Speise is a dish. Ja. And then in the previous questions, we learned in Nachmittag. Do you remember? Nachmittag, ja, so nach ist after, afternoon, ja. So nach Speise is basically the after dish. So that means dessert, ja. In German, then you can call uh, dessert oder nach Speise, ja. And vor heißt before, ja. So we've got vor, before, und nach, after, ja. Und was ist Haupt? Ja, Haupt ist Main, right? As you can imagine, ja, wir haben Vorspeise, Hauptspeise, ja, Main, like Main Train Station, Hauptbahnhof, ja, oder Main Street, Hauptstraße, ja, Haupt, ja. Some people complain that, you know, the German words are long, how can I learn those words? This is actually a kind of misunderstanding. As you can see, yeah, we've got long words in German because you can simply make longer words by using simpler ideas, right? So Speise dish, then you can just add like before, after, and main. Yeah, then you can form a new word. Yeah. So in German, you can see how people think. Yeah. This is doch Kreativität. Yeah. Sehr interessant, oder? Oopsie. Und uh, hier ist doch eine Speisekarte. 
Okay, Speisekarte. So menu in German is called Speisekarte, right? Speise is the dish and Karte, cart, yeah. Again, yeah, in English menu. Yeah. Actually, if you have never learned German, uh, you have never learned English before, you've got no idea. But then the German word Speisekarte, dish cart, yeah, tells you very clearly. We have my Salate. Kalte Vorspeisen. Das heißt, diese Vorspeisen sind kalt. Okay, sehr kalt. Ja, it's cold. Ja. Warme Vorspeisen. Ja, die sind doch warm. Okay. Ja, heute, today is also ja, warm. Ja, so warm und kalt. Ja. Äh, Recht gibt es auch mal Gerichte. Gerichte. Gerichte also means Speise. Okay, so this is another word, which means a uh, dish in German, also very common. If you would like to go to Germany, if you're traveling, you want to go to German restaurants, and make sure that at least you know these two words, yeah? Speisen und Gerichte. Vom Grill oder vom Schwein, das ist, yeah, that's the pig, yeah? So dishes from pig, yeah? Vom Rind, so beef, vom Lamm. Das ist doch klar, ne? obviously. Fischgerichte. Ja, Fisch. So, there could also be seafood. Ja. Kleine Gerichte. Ja, das heißt, small dishes. Ja, ganz klein. Okay. So, here you have learned a couple of words, which would probably be helpful for your visit in a German restaurant. Ne? Okay, jetzt kommen wir doch mal auf Teil 2. Ja, sind Sie bereit? Ja, interessante Fakten. Ja. So we're going to learn about some interesting facts ja, in the German food culture. Was sind das denn? Das sind ja Würste. Okay. Wie viele Wurstsorten gibt es in Deutschland? Okay. Wurstsorten. Ja, Wurst. Ja. A, mehr als 500. B. Mehr als 1000. C. Mehr als 1500. Oder D. Mehr als 2000. Okay, was denken Sie denn? Mehr als 500, 1000, 1500 oder 2000. As you all may have heard of, right? Germany is famous for sausages, even though it's not the only country which produces sausages. Yeah, but how many types are there actually? Okay, when we shall mal jetzt. Ja, C ist richtig. Ja, mehr als 1500. Ja, more than 1500 types. Yeah, can you imagine in one country? Yeah, so that means. Every day you try one type, yeah, you can try four to five years. Ja, unglaublich. Ja. Dann hier können wir auch ein paar Wurstsorten kennenlernen. Ja. So we can learn about several types, yeah, some common types of Würste, yeah, sausages. Yeah. Das ist Currywurst. Currywurst, okay. Wurst, sausage, yeah, mit Curry. Ketchup und uh, sehr oft auch Pommes. Okay, so the fries are called Pommes. Yeah, and uh, you can definitely try it in Berlin. Yeah, it's one of the specialty in Berlin. Yeah, Currywurst, many shops, many booths which sell Currywurst. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, oder uh, hier, it seems very long. Yeah, Nürnberger Rostbratwürstchen. Ja, Würstchen. Ja. Würstchen heißt kleine Würste. Okay. So whenever you see this part, Chen, that means uh, it's a kind of small thing. Ja. This type of sausage is not very long. Ja, so, so lang wie der Finger. Okay. Ungefähr 8 cm, about 8 cm long. And that's actually my favorite. Ja. Sehr lecker. Mm. Ja. And what's special about this type of sausage? Yeah, it's even recorded in the European Protected Geographical Indication in 2003. Okay, so uh, it's from Nuremberg and made with a special recipe. 
yeah, Nürnberg. And they're saying that uh, probably you know Goethe, yeah. So the very famous German writer, so, yeah, even mailed or posted these sausages from Nürnberg, a German city, to Weimar. Okay, so you can see, hmm, lecker, no? Okay, then have we a Bratwurst. Okay, if you have been to Germany before, then you should have seen this before, right? So, uh, like an arm long, yeah. Some grilling for barbecue, or uh, you can find it in restaurant or on the street. Yeah, people eat it with Brötchen, yeah, with a kind of bun, and it's very common. Then having Weißwurst, okay. So weiss, yeah, then you can probably tell, yeah, it's white, yeah, white sausage, yeah. When this comes to uh, Süddeutschland or the Bayern, yeah, it's from uh, the biggest uh, Bundesland, yeah, you can call it province, yeah, or federal state yeah, in Germany, Bavaria. People usually eat it with uh, zenf mustard, yeah, potato, kartoffel, and uh, traditionally, uh, there is so-called second breakfast between 10 and 12 o'clock. And this type of sausage is served, yeah, 10 to 12 o'clock. And usually people, uh, or traditionally, people boil it, and it's served in hot water. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not my favorite, yeah, but you can just try. You know? And here you can see... Uh, a very special looking sausage, yeah, Blutwurst, yeah, Blut, yeah. What do you think? Was ist Blut? Yeah, genau, Blut is blood, okay, blood sausage or black pudding, yeah. So uh, definitely it's made from uh, blood, yeah, Schweinblut. So we can find uh, pig's blood with some meat, with some fat and spices inside, yeah. Uh, the taste is quite strong, not, ma not many people love it, no. Und dann uh, zum Schluss haben wir doch mal Teewurst. Okay, yeah, Teewurst, yeah, tea. <laughs> then you may wonder, okay, is there any tea inside? Yeah, tea? No, okay, unfortunately this time uh, the guess is not so correct. No, Teewurst has keinen tea, okay? No tea, no? Then why is it called Teewurst? Yeah, it's actually made from uh, some bacon some uh, raw pork and then these ingredients are smoked okay and then it's made in the form of a paste yeah? so you can put it on the board you know, the bread yeah? it's served during the tea time and that's why it got the name tea wurst okay yeah? so currywurst Nürnberger Rostbratwürstchen Bratwurst Weißwurst, Blutwurst und Teewurst. Okay, Wurst. Ja, sehr gut. Ne? Na gut, Frage 7. Ah, das ist sehr interessant. Ja. Welche Schokoladenmarke kommt nicht aus Deutschland? Ja, Schokolade. Ja. Essen Sie gern Schokolade? Ja. Ah, Kinder. Okay. Das kennen Sie doch, ne? You know this, ja. B. Merci. C. Rittersport. Oder D. Haché. Ja, genau. Okay. I deliberately picked these four brands because they could also be found in Hong Kong. Ja. Yeah. Just go to the supermarket, you can also find them there. Ja. Yeah. Und welche Schokoladenmarke kommt nicht aus Deutschland? Ja. Yeah. Was denken Sie denn? Again, yeah, feel free to type your answers there in the comment part. Yeah. Kinder, Maxi, Rita Sport oder Hashi. Und die Lösung? Ja, genau. Ah, Kinder. Okay. So, uh, is it a surprise for you? Yeah, Kinder. So, actually, the name yeah, sounds very German. Yeah. Aber. Uh, das ist keine deutsche Schokoladenmarke. No? Das ist italienisch. Okay? So it actually belongs to the firm uh, Ferrero. Okay, from Italy. No? And probably they just use this name uh, for marketing. You know, they want to brand its company in this way. No? Kinder. Maxi kommt aus Deutschland. No? 
Maxis, kein Deutsch. Wieso kommt es aus Deutschland? Ja, yeah, Max ist Französisch. It's French, isn't it? Okay. Again, you know, many products names are just meant to lure you and attract you to buy the products. Yeah. So uh, be smart customers. Yeah. Maxi, uh, they use these French names, you know, to arouse the association with the high-end products. Yeah. And very interesting this brand because it doesn't boast itself of high quality or you know special ingredients but it just presents itself as a kind of expression of thanks maxi okay and all german people know this word maxi okay so uh, again the purpose of marketing promotion Sport, yeah you can find it in hong kong yeah in many places in germany in europa in europe yeah and what's so special about this brand? You can take a look of its shape, the square shape, yeah. Ritter Sport, yeah. And uh, this is the specific design for this brand, yeah, because the founder would like uh, her chocolate to be able to put in the pocket, yeah, of the sport players, okay, in the form of the square. Yeah? And then Ashe, yeah, Ashe. So this is actually the family name of the founder. Okay, Johanna Shea. So now you know more about the Schokoladenmarken aus Deutschland. Yeah, Schokolade. Yeah. Okay, Frage 8. Uh, was ist das beliebteste Getränk in Deutschland? Yeah, das beliebteste Getränk in Deutschland. A. Uh, Bier. B. Wasser. C. Kaffee. Oder D, Wein. Okay, noch einmal. Ne? Bier, Wasser. Ja, Wasser. Ja, this W with a V sound. Ja, Wasser, Kaffee oder Wein. Ja, was glauben Sie dann? Okay, ja. Yeah. So jemand sagt, ah, ja. Yeah. So some people say, uh, ah, Bier. Mm -hmm. Und die Lösung ist C, Kaffee. Ja, <laughs> yeah, many people, uh, I think, especially Hong Kong people, yeah, when they talk about Deutschland, Germany, then they may think of Bier, yeah, was sausages, yeah. In fact, yeah, this beliebteste Getränk in Deutschland ist Kaffee. Und hier schauen wir doch mal auf diese Statistik. Hier, ja, Platz 1 ist doch Bohnenkaffee. Yeah, bean coffee. Yeah, you see, this is the consume. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, and uh, here's this man out in trends. You can see even see the increase. Yeah, from 2010 to 2019. Right. Und dann kommt uh, Wasser. Yeah, Mineralwasser, Quellwasser, Tafelwasser, Erfrischungsgetränke, the soft drinks. Und Bier ist erst auf Platz 4. Okay, so the fourth place is Bier. Ja, und dann Tee und Milch. Ja, Milch. Ja. So, Kaffee, ja, am populärsten. Ja. Even when compared with other European countries, ja, you can see uh, the position of Germany is not that, ja, in terms of the coffee consumption. Ja, so auf Platz, uh, Platz 8 hier, ja. So after Österreich, yeah, that's Austria, yeah, and Italian, yeah, okay, six comma five six kilogram, yeah. And uh, here you can see uh, the uh, coffee consumption of the three German-speaking countries: Deutschland, Österreich, Austria, and the Schweiz, yeah, Switzerland, yeah. Again, coffee, yeah, the winner, yeah. Ein bisschen mehr als Wasser, a bit more than Wutzer, yeah. so almost 50% more than beer. Yeah. But actually, uh, Kaffee yeah, it's very, very popular yeah, in Europa, in Europe. Yeah. Okay, und Frage 9. Was essen die Deutschen am liebsten? Okay, essen, yeah, which means to eat. Yeah. A. Obst und Gemüse. 
okay? ob es wie äh, Orangen oder Äpfel, Gemüse, ja, Salat, ja, ob es ein Gemüse, B, Käse, C, Wurst, okay, schon wieder, und die Pizza. Okay, was essen die Deutschen am liebsten? Obstengemüse, Käse, Wurst oder Pizza? Was denken Sie denn? Okay, what do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people may think, hmm, E, Wurst, yeah, because there are more than 1,500 sausage types in Germany. Yeah, you may think so. Und die Lösung? Ah, ja, genau, richtig, ja, also Obst und Gemüse, okay. Is it a surprise for you? So German people like eating fruits and vegetables most, ja, Obst und Gemüse, okay. And you may wonder, ja, and of course, you know, we, uh, this result is based on the facts, ja. Hier, ja, immer mehr Menschen Deutschlands verzichten öfter mal auf Fleisch, ja, so, Uh, more and more German people give up on meat, ja, und they greifen zu vegetarischen oder veganen Alternativen, okay, so they turn vegetarian or even vegan, ja, und 70 Prozent, ja, das, was auf dem Teller ist, ja, ist Obst und Gemüse, ja, 70 Prozent on the plate, ja, fruits and vegetables, ja. So you can see that German people actually pay a lot of attention to their health. Yeah? So they consume quite a lot of fruit and vegetables. Yeah? So that may be different from what you often think of about Germany. No. Obst und Gemüse. No. Even from this English newspaper, The Guardian, right? So more than 40% of Germans are cutting down on meat and vegan burgers are a shopping mall staple. Yeah? It's not a trend. No. So I think in this sense, yeah, somehow uh, the German people may be quite similar to Hong Kong people, right? Turning more and more healthy. Mm. Okay, Frage 10 im Teil 2. Wie viel Trinkgeld gibt man meistens in Deutschland? Ja, das ist Trinkgeld. Geld heißt money, okay? Und Trink, ja, trinken, ja, that's to drink. So that means tips in German refers to money for drinking. Yeah, this little money for drinking. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's a very interesting idea. In English, you have got some small, shorter words. Yeah, but sometimes you, it's hard for you to know the meaning. Yeah, about auf Deutsch ist ganz klar. Yeah, Trinkgeld. A, kein Trinkgeld. Oder B, bis zu 5%. C, bis zu 10%, die mehr als 10%. Okay, wie viel Trinkgeld gibt man meistens in Deutschland? Was glauben Sie denn? Okay, kein Trinkgeld, okay, null, ja. Bis zu 5%, ja, up to 5, bis zu 10% oder mehr als 10%, ja, more than, ja, 10%. Was glauben Sie? Mhm. Okay, und die Lösung ist bis zu 5%. Yeah. So many people may think, mm, okay, so Germany is a rich country, strong economy in Europe, yeah. then the people should be more generous, okay, mehr als 10%. Mm -mm, okay, so uh, the statistics may suggest something different, okay, then schauen wir mal hier. Then uh, 6% der Befragten, so 6% of the interviewees, yeah, they give More than 10%. Yeah. 38% geben bis zu 10%. Okay. Ist auch ziemlich viel. Ne? Up to 10% here. Yeah. Und 45%, das heißt die meisten, yeah, most of them, bis zu 5%. Okay. Und hier sieht man auch, ne? also uh, hier in Ostdeutschland, ja, yeah, es ist in East Germany, die Leute geben prinzipiell kein Trinkgeld. Ja, es ist die um, Culture of giving tips ja, is not so common here. Ja. Maybe partially because of the uh, economy, ja, historical reason and so on. Ja. 
And then here in the South, yeah, 50 percent geben immer mehr Trinket. Yeah, so always, yeah, immer Trinket geben. Yeah. Und dann, uh, wofür gibt es man in Deutschland Trinket? Yeah. Then what are the factors which determine the German people, whether they give um, tips or not? Okay, hier sehen wir, die meisten geben Trinket für Freundlichkeit. Freundlich, ja. Yeah. Friendliness, ja. Yeah. Sind sie freundlich? Ja. Yeah. So, if you say, I am friendly, then you can remember the word, ja. Yeah. Ich bin freundlich, ja. Yeah. Just like how you introduce your name, ja. Yeah. Ich bin, ja. Yeah. Freundlich, ja. Yeah. So, uh, if the waiters, the staff are friendly, they tend to give more and get. Yeah. Und dann, uh, kompetente Beratung. Yeah. So whether the staff there can give competent advice, okay, good advice, yeah, consultation, that's also very important for German people. Und dann kommt erstmal Schnelligkeit, okay, whether they are fast, yeah, do they serve the food fast, yeah, schnell, yeah. In Hong Kong, this may be the most important factor, yeah, in Germany, there's a third one, yeah. Okay, anyway, ja, grundsätzlich ja, gibt es doch hier die Faustregel. Ja. Then when you go to Germany, how much tips should you give? Ja. Then here is the main rule. Remember this, ja, 5 bis 10 Prozent. Okay, 5 bis 10 Prozent, ja, about 5 to 10 Prozent. Ja. Just like the majority of the German people, right? Then, uh, then it's the safest, okay? <clears throat> Ja, das ist äh, wie hier, ja, trinkt jetzt bei 50 Euro Rechnungssumme. Ja, as you see here, right? 75 Prozent ja, der Deutschen, so they will give around 2 uh, uh, to 5 Euro, ja, 2 to 5 Euros out of the bill, 50 Euros. So that's about 5 bis 10 Prozent, ja, 5 to 10 Prozent, right? Unless you think that, you know, the service is really bad. Das ist katastrophal, okay? Die Speisen sind nicht lecker. Ja. Otherwise, then you should give uh, some drink out. Ja. Okay, dann Teil 3. Ja. Now we come to the last part of our quiz. Ja. Merkwürdige Speisen. Ja, get ready, because um, make sure that you won't get shocked ja, by the pictures and the food here. If, okay? So uh, what do you think about this dish? Ja. Wie heißt es auf Deutsch? Ja. Would you be attracted by this dish? No. A. Tote Papa. Okay. B. Tote Mama. C. Tote Opa. Oder D. Tote Oma. Okay. Noch einmal. Ne? Ja, wie heißt es auf Deutsch? Ja, wie heißt diese Speise auf Deutsch? Papa, Mama, Opa oder Oma? Ja. And then before them, of course, you have got the word tot, ja, which means dead. Ja. Ich bin tot, ja, so I am dead. Ja. ja, was denken Sie da? So, die Lösung? Tote Oma. Okay. Ja. So uh, you may find the name very interesting, right? Tote Oma, yeah, dead grandma, yeah. So was ist das denn? Yeah? Das ist Blutwurst, okay? Yeah, Blutwurst, das heißt die Wurst aus Blut, yeah. gebraten, yeah, so that's fried, yeah. And usually people uh, eat it together with sauerkraut, yeah, so this is a kind of um, pickles, you know, there are a lot of pickles in Germany. Yeah. Especially if you eat a lot of meat, fat, right, then it helps you digest. Yeah. Mit Kartoffeln, yeah, potatoes. Yeah. But then you may wonder, warum heißt es Tote Oma? Okay, why is it called Tote Oma? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, then uh, probably we have to trace back yeah, the history of Tote Oma. So we go back to uh, Ostdeutschland, yeah, that's East Germany, DDDR. Yeah. When Germany was still divided into two parts, yeah. and then in East Germany, 
this tutu oma was a very uh, beloved, very popular dish. Okay, and it had got a fan group. Yeah, there have been many sayings about why this dish is called dead oma. Yeah, dead granny tutu oma. Uh, we don't have any agreement, but one thing that everyone agrees with is that Tote Oma claims nicht appetitlich, nicht einsprechend, okay? So this name doesn't really sound appetizing. This name doesn't really sound appealing. No, probably the same feeling when you look at the picture, right? <laughs> but whether you're a Tote Oma, you're, you know, in case your grandma does not live anymore, looks like this, yeah, then... Um, Well, you can explore this issue further. Okay. Und äh, Frage 12. Ja. Was ist Himmel und Erde? Himmel und Erde. Okay, Himmel, das ist Himmel. Ne? Und hier ist die Erde. A, eine Spezialität aus Äpfel und Kartoffel. Ja, Äpfel. Yeah, probably you can understand this word. Ja, yeah. Apples. Ja, yeah. Äpfel. Eine Spezialität aus Orangen und Kartoffeln. C. Eine Spezialität aus Äpfel und Karotten. Oder aus Bananen und Gemüse. Ja, Kartoffel oder Karotten. Was glauben Sie denn? Okay. Und die Lösung? A ist richtig. Ja, aus Äpfel und Kartoffeln. Okay, so it's from made from apples and potatoes. Yeah, the apples may not be huge pieces on the dish. Yeah, so there may be some applesauce with little uh, pieces of apples, kartoffel and uh, blutwurst. Yeah, so blutwurst. Yeah, again, blood sausage. Yeah, uh, I just picked these two dishes with blutwurst. It doesn't mean that you know it's a daily meal of German people. Yeah, don't have this misunderstanding. Aber warum Äpfel und Kartoffel? Perhaps you can imagine, right? This isn't Äpfel, so they grow on a tree. Yeah? So just like the sky, yeah, you get them from there, right? High above. Yeah? Und Kartoffel hat eine andere Namen. So potatoes have got two names in German. You can call them Kartoffel oder Erdapfel. Erdapfel, yeah. Erd is the earth, so these are the earth apples, right? You can tell, yeah. So they grow on the soil, yeah. So that's why you know these two are the main ingredients, right? One representing the Himmel, and the other the Erd, yeah. And this dish can be found in quite some Bundesländern in Germany, like in Highland Pfalz, Hessen, and RW, Nordrhein-Westfalen. Niedersachsen und Mecklenburg vor Pommern. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to try this dish, yeah, Himmel und Erde, then you should go to these Bundesländer. Yeah. Okay, Frage 13. Another um, special looking dish, right? Wie heißt diese Speise auf Deutsch? Und woher kommt sie? Yeah. So, A, Lapskaus aus Berlin. B, Lapskaus aus Hamburg. C. Lobskaus aus Stuttgart oder Lobskaus aus Leipzig. Yeah. So we mainly have two different names, yeah. Lapskaus oder Lobskaus. Yeah. And then uh, different cities, yeah. Berlin, Hamburg, Stuttgart oder Leipzig. Yeah. Was denken Sie denn? Uh -huh. Okay. B ist richtig. Yeah. Diese Speise heißt Lapskaus, ja, aus Hamburg, ja. Dann, was gibt's denn drin? Hier haben wir doch mal äh, Rottebeete, ja, so, ne? Und äh, Ei, okay, in German you call it Ei, okay? Das ist ein Ei, ja, und Spiegelei, ja, the mirror Ei, ja. Rindfleisch, ja, so that's the beef, gepökelt, uh, it's corned beef, ja. Petersilie, so this kind of herb, matches filet, so fish, and gurke. Yeah. You may uh, see that, you know, in this dish, you have got a bit of everything. You've got gemüse, vegetables, you've got fruit, ops, yeah. fish, eye something rich in proteins, you've got fleisch, yeah, meat. 
So basically, it can satisfy all your needs in the meal, right? Why this um, original? This is actually a dish for sailors, okay? You know, those people they perhaps have to stay on the boat for a long time, right? So these people, uh, sorry, these dishes, yeah, these ingredients are easy for preservation, right? You can keep it for long, easy to make, yeah. And uh, it used to be a poor people's dish as well, okay? A dish for poor people in case you have got some leftovers in your fridge, yeah, then you can just make use of them. But now, of course, it's different, yeah? You can even find it in very fancy restaurants, yeah? especially in Hamburg, yeah? Okay, this is the Hamburg, yeah? This is uh, a Hafenstadt, yeah? A city with harbor. So in Germany, there are some places where you can try seafood as well. Hong Kong people love seafood, right? So you can go to Hamburg or you can go to the north, okay? So there you can try more fish yeah, and seafood. Yeah. Okay, ganz schnell, Frage 14. Was ist Bananenweizen? Ja, Bananenweizen. Ah, Bananensaft plus Bier. B, Bananensaft und Wein. Mangosaft und Bier. Oder Mangosaft und Wein. Okay. Es ist Bananen oder Mango, Bier oder Wein. Ja. Lösung? Ja, sehr gut. Ja, Bananensaft und Bier. Ja. So, this combination, perhaps you can try it out at home. Ja, Bier. And this is the wheat beer. Ja, Weizen. Ja. Uh, mixed with Bananensaft. Ja. You can find it uh, not just in pubs, you can find it in Supermarkt as well. Ja. Bananenweizen. <laughs> Okay, 15. Yeah, how do you say this? Yeah, this is Muckefuck. Okay, so mind your pronunciation. Yeah, pronounce it in a German way. Yeah, Muckefuck. Yeah. A, yeah, starke Tee. Yeah, so very strong Tee. B, leichter Tee. It says nicht stark. Okay, leicht. C, starke Kaffee. Or D, leichter Kaffee. Okay, is this tea or the cafe? Is this stark? Yeah, stark. Oder leicht. Was sagen Sie denn? Muckefuck. Okay. Yeah, you may have got a very impression of strong, right? Very aggressive man. Aber die Lösung ist B. Leichter Tee. Okay. So originally it's from the French word, yeah, mokafu. So it means fake mocha. Yeah, so uh, in East Germany in the DDR, yeah, was Kinder Kaffee, yeah, without caffeine, yeah. So even children can drink it. Yeah, it's not strong. Yeah, sehr leicht. Yeah, Muckefuck. Yeah. Okay. Das heißt, um, heute haben Sie viel gelernt. Yeah, Sie haben die Redemitte gelernt. You have learned some useful phrases like Mahlzeit. You can use it to greet others around lunchtime. Yeah, Mahlzeit. Of course, also other phrases, yeah, guten Morgen, guten Tag. You've learned that Abendbrot also means dinner. Das heißt Abendessen, yeah, so evening bread, yeah. And you have learned some words, yeah, which were useful for you when you go to German restaurant, Vorspeisen, Hauptspeisen, Nachspeisen, yeah, starters, main dish, dessert. And uh, if you're invited to Germany family, for dinner for meals, and you can say, lecker. Mm. If you're full, then, then you say, ich bin satt. Oh, ich bin schon satt. Okay. And today you got to know some interesting facts about German food. So more than 1,500 Wurstsorten. And some names, some types of sausages like Bratwurst, Currywurst, yeah, Wurst. And the um, Germans' favorite drink, coffee. And their food, Hobson Gemüse. And we're learning about some special dishes like, do you remember all the names? Tote Oma, Himmel und Erde, Lapskals, Bananenweizen und Mokefuck. Okay. That's for Alice, so you can see how diverse the German eating culture is. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this um, short presentation. 
and it will be useful yeah uh in case yeah you go traveling in germany or you're invited to a german family for dinner or for meals okay vielen dank yeah and now uh we have a bit time yeah for the Fragen und Antworten. So in case, yeah, after this short presentation, you have got some questions, just feel free to raise them, okay? Perhaps about the dishes or about the facts, yeah. Then uh, we would be very glad to answer your questions here. In case you have got some other phrases yeah, that you may want to use uh, at the time of eating, then uh, you may also ask yeah, the culture or about the language. Yeah. Perhaps, you know, while you were traveling in Germany in the past, yeah, you encountered a certain situation in which you want to say something or in which um, something was noticeable to you. Yeah then you may share with us okay any sharing or questions are also welcome okay haben sie denn fragen okay gerade haben wir doch eine frage bekommen so just now uh, we got a question yeah vielen dank no so vielen dank many thanks for your question so what do german people usually eat for breakfast okay so breakfast in german is called frühstück yeah, Frühstück. So, uh, as mentioned before, they have got the Abendbrot. Yeah. And Brot is, of course, often eaten uh, during the morning, right, as breakfast. Yeah. Uh, pretty similar to Hong Kong people in certain ways. Yeah. You know, you've got the bread and then marmalade, the jam, butsam, something that you can put yeah, on the bread. Yeah. Or the Käse. Yeah. But they may prefer less meat yeah, on the bread in the morning. Yeah. Uh, some people may have cereals, okay, or that muesli. Yeah. So that's also very common. You know, usually it's light, huh? not a heavy one. And traditionally, the German people have got, you know, the cold breakfast, yeah. uh, warm lunch, cold dinner. It says kalt, warm, kalt. Yeah. And even now, you know, uh, a cold breakfast is also very common. In Hong Kong, you may have a warm breakfast, but this is, uh, relatively speaking, more unusual in Germany. Okay. So, uh, very interestingly, the German word for breakfast, yeah, in English, you call it breakfast, right? In German, you call it Frühstück. Yeah. Früh means early. Yeah. So, it's the early piece, Stück. Yeah. So that means, um, you know, it's something, it's a food for early in the morning. Yeah. So the concept probably, you know, so early that you really can't eat so much. Yeah. Your stomach is not ready yet. Yeah. So brot, kiesa, yeah. you can have a bit wurst, yeah, or the würstchen. Yeah. So uh, the wurst can be in, in the form of paste. Yeah. Not necessarily a big uh, piece. Yeah. So something that you put on the bread, and that's a very typical German breakfast. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay, then uh, jetzt haben wir eine andere Frage. Yeah, do Germany before? Yeah. So it's very common. I mean, you just turn on the tap, yeah, and then you can drink the water directly from there. Yeah. So it's called Leistungswasser. Yeah. And uh, if you want to boil it, uh, you could, but usually people boil it like for making tea or their coffee. Yeah. And um, it's also not common, I mean, not just for German people, but I think in general in Europe, not common for people to drink hot water. Okay. I think this is quite different from Hong Kong because in Hong Kong, I can see that many people drink, you know, warmes Wasser or heißes Wasser. Uh, you must need some flavor, yeah, in case you make the water hot, yeah. But German people do drink tap water and it's totally safe, yeah, kein Problem, yeah. Und, um, yeah, can, can Sie auch gerne mal probieren. Okay, haben Sie noch Fragen? Any more questions?
Okay. Das heißt, äh, heute haben wir auch äh, ziemlich viel über die deutsche Esskultur gesprochen. Yeah, today uh, we talked quite a lot about the German eating culture. You have learned quite some useful phrases uh, for eating, drinking. So, I mean, those um, special looking dishes or drinks that I've mentioned are sometimes regional, okay? Because Deutschland, Germany is a very big country. And then there are different provinces. In each place, there are different dialects and their own specialties. Yeah, So I do advise you to explore different parts of Germany. And then you will find much more than just sausages or pork knuckles. Yeah, Because what you usually find in Hong Kong is perhaps mainly from South Germany. Okay, But there are a lot more regional dishes that, that will surprise you Yeah, in a good way. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Tschüss.